G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I am doing another Nightcore and Olight comparison. This time it is between the SRT7 GT in the Nightcore and the Freya in the Olight. Let's compare them and check it out. All right, so firstly, let's go over the accessories. So the accessories in the Freya are going to be your user manual down there. You will get a two-way pocket clip and a charger in this bottom box here. You will get this snazzy Olight holster, which is typical Olight. And you are going to get your wand kind of like traffic control wand uh, for your red, blue, green outputs here, which I will go over. Now, the Nightcore accessories are going to give you a lanyard in there, a spare O-ring as well, and a spare Nightcore tail cap, uh, rubber clicky in case that one gets damaged. You will also get a holster, not definitely not Olight standard holster, um, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. It's all right. And on the light, you will get your tactical ring and your pocket clip there. All right, so now just the lights and the batteries. So one major difference about these two guys is the Olight Freya actually takes a 21700 battery. So that is a 5,000 milliamp, 3.6 volt, 21700 Olight battery. There is down there, you see the spring at the head and that there is your Olight tail cap contact. Installing the battery with ease, nice oiled threads. And done up beautifully, there it is there. Now, there's something I just wanna cover that I'm going to cover a lot with Nightcore especially. Now, Nightcore has a very, very large gray market production. And this light actually came from a gray market. And this light uh, came with some very weird things because it came with from a gray market. First and foremost, it did not come with a warranty. And if I if there was something wrong with this light and I ever wanted to replace it, I had to contact uh, a, a gray market company in China and I'm sure would be very difficult to get this light fixed. So basically I took a punt on this a long time ago. Also, if you can see here, the uh, tactical ring here is actually a different shade black than everything else. Um, so certainly doesn't seem like a genuine Nightcore tactical ring. But also one of the most important uh, differences is look at the battery it came with. Doesn't look like a Nightcore battery to me. So that is just something to be aware of, guys. And as I said, I am going to cover this more times in my Nightcore videos. But when you go Nightcore on a grey market, as opposed to an authorised dealer from Australia, if you're in Australia, um, you are not going to get a warranty. You're not going to get the ability to send it back if it is broken. And you are likely to get some very weird accessories like this generic uh, 18650 battery. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, back to the comparison. 21700 over here on the Olight, 18650 on the Nightcore. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. There is the bottom of the Nightcore, no spring there. There is the bottom of the, of the tail cap, definitely a spring there. Installing the battery with ease. Now, if uh, you guys aren't familiar with these lights, you will understand why I have decided to compare these two. They are, in fact, very, very similar. So the similarities are that they both have red, blue, and green outputs. The Nightcore does have a UV output that the Olight does not have. Uh, and the Nightcore has a police signal which goes from blue to red, blue to red. So it, it uh, kind of strobes blue then red, whereas the Olight does not have that either. But going over the design and feel of both these in the hand, the Olight has a side switch. 
that the Night Chord does not have, although the Night Chord does have something, which is this smart ring, they call it. So this is actually how you change your outputs. You just turn this and it will change your outputs, and I'll show you that in a moment. Whereas the Freya just has a side switch where you can turn it on and off from, and of course a tail cap, the typical Olight tactical tail cap, half press for uh, medium, full press for turbo. Now if we just take a look here, remember this does come with a two-way pocket clip guys, but it is just not uh, installed. But you have two areas, one at the top, one at the bottom to actually install that pocket clip there. Whereas the Nightcore also has two spots to implement the pocket clip, but you would have to take the tactical ring off on the Nightcore if you wanted to put the pocket clip down there, otherwise it just wouldn't work. So both of them have a lens up, lens down option for their pocket clips. Now the tail cap on the Nightcore is a rubber clicky and it is the only way to turn this light on. So as you saw then, uh, it was in strobe, so I'll just turn it all the way back here to see what that's on. Maybe that's on, okay, that's beacon. Let's leave it there for now. So with the tail cap, it is a rubber clicky. It is a forward clicky as well. So you will have momentary. And as you can see here, the tail cap has these raised edges where you can tail stand it, same as the Olight, but also they protect from uh, any damage or knocking the, the uh, rubber clicky. Whereas the Olight, you don't need to worry about that because it is the typical Olight tactical switch. It is just a uh, half press, full press motion there. You can momentary, but it just takes a little bit longer because you've got to leave it on for about half a second. There it is. Okay, so the modes for each of these lights are as follows. So in the Freya, in the white light, you've got three modes. You've got moonlight mode, which you press and hold from off, and that is five lumens, which you will get for 15 days. Then you've got a low mode. Now you can only access the low mode by half pressing, oh, by half pressing, not full pressing, the tail switch. And that is 300 lumens, which you will get for nine and a half hours. Then you've got a turbo mode, which is 1750 lumens, which you will get for two minutes. Then it's gonna drop down to 49% of that, which you'll get for 150 minutes. Then it's gonna drop down a further 17%, which you will get for 28 minutes before shutting off. They are your three outputs in white light. Now, the night core in white light. You will have beacon, which is a thousand lumens, and it is unspecified how long it lasts for. Then you've got to turn the smart ring past all the red, blue, green outputs, past the UV output, then you start to get your white light. See there? Now, your white light will range from 0.1 of a lumen, which you will get for 240 hours, all the way up to turbo, which is a thousand lumens, which you will get for an hour and 15 minutes. Now, don't be fooled guys, that will step down. So don't be fooled by the hour and 15 minutes, that will certainly step down. It's just hour and 15 minutes is your total runtime. So, uh, so far, the turbo output on the Freya is more lumens because it's 1750 lumens and it's more runtime because it's two minutes plus 150 minutes plus 28 minutes, which is 180 minutes. That is three hours. Whereas turbo on your night core is a thousand lumens and it is an hour and 15 minutes, that's it. But also on white light with the night core, you will get strobe as well. Now that is also a thousand lumens and it is unspecified how long it goes for. Moving on to the special modes, the red, blue, and green. So in the Freya, once the light is on, you press and hold the side switch, it'll cycle to red first. Now, red light is 30 lumens and it'll last for 22 hours. Press and hold, goes to green light. Green light is 60 lumens and that will last for 14 hours. And then blue light is 25 lumens, which will last for 12 hours. Then if we press and hold again, goes back to your moonlight mode. So the Freya, apart from having medium and turbo, with the side switch, it just is ultra low with white output and then red, green, and blue. 
red, green, blue. One click to turn it off, that's it. Now, if you wanna to get to turbo with the Freya from the side switch, you just double click, simple. And if you wanna to get to strobe with the Freya, you triple click. There we go. Strobe is also 1750 lumens. So, very similar in their makeup. The Nightcore does have a few extra modes than the Olight. Apart from having beacon, which the uh, Olight does not have, your Nightcore will also have a police flashing mode, which is that, blue and red there. But it also has not only blue, red, and green, but it also has UV. So that is ultraviolet right there. And then it will cycle in your outputs and all the way to strobe. So when comparing these two, if you are gonna buy one of them, if UV light is a must, then the Nightcore is yours without a doubt, makes the decision very easy. But if you don't mind about UV, you don't mind about beacon, and runtime is something you want with the white light, then the Freya is definitely going to be your choice. Now, if we just go over the measurements of the Freya, from head to tail, we see that it is about 13.3 centimeters long, whereas the Nightcore from head to tail is a whopping 15.2 centimeters long. Now, the face width of the Freya is four centimeters, and the face width of the night core is 3.8 centimeters. The tail cap width of the Freya is two and a half centimeters, and the tail cap width of the night core is two and a half centimeters as well. So I guess the most distinct thing about the difference in measurements would be the height between these two, without a doubt. Okay, the weight of the Freya with the battery included, but no pocket clip is 190 grams 190.4 grams. Just to be fair, I will take this pocket clip off. Now, the weight of the night core with the battery and no pocket clip is 211.86 grams. So it is a taller light, it is a heavier light, the night core. Another thing to think about, guys, is the magnetic top of the O light compared to the non magnetic top of the night core. This can be used for L docks and things like that. Uh, obviously, it's magnetic charging with the charging cable, whereas the night core should have been given to me with a battery that takes USB-C charging, but instead it was given to me with a battery that needs to be put in a portable, in, in, a, in an external battery charger. Now, let's just have another look at the difference in how these lights look, because that may play a big role as well. Some people are very, very picky with looks. There's the head there. Both got smooth reflectors. I think the Nightcore has a Cree XPL high V3 LED and the Olight doesn't specify, but from looking at it down there, no, I don't know. I'm not good enough to know what LED that is. Just give you a quick 360 look with the turning circle there, the smart ring as they call it. Freya, much more simple design, the Freya. I do like that, much more EDC friendly. All right, let's take these guys outside, see what they can do on turbo especially, and then we will come back for some final thoughts. See you in a sec. All right, guys, got the comparison with the Olight Freya and the Nightcore SRT. GT7. There is the Freya on turbo. Nice hotspot, weird spill, but nice hotspot. And there is the Nightcore. Not as tight of a hotspot, but better spill in my opinion. Freya, Nightcore. There's the Freya with the red. And there's the Freya in the green. And there's the Freya in the blue. There's the Nightcore in the blue. Nightcore in the green. Nightcore in the red. And of course the Nightcore has red and blue flashing. And the Nightcore has UV there. All right, final look. Nightcore on turbo, Olight on turbo. Nightcore, Olight. 
All right, guys, back to the lab. All right, so they are both quite impressive on turbo as well. Um, the red, blue, and green are fairly similar, but the run times on Olight are unbeatable. So it just depends on what you want to do. Now, guys, you can pick both of these lights up from lightshop.com.au, and their prices are only going to differ by $10. So the Olight is $175, and the night core is 185. So guys, if you're in the market for not only a great white light torch, but also a torch that has a lot of special features like red, blue, and green, um, take a look at these two and decide Olight or night core. These two brands have been competing with each other since the dawn of time and the fighting will never stop, I don't believe. So are you an Olight person or a night core person? I'd love to find out. Um, but certainly whether you choose one or the other, you're definitely going to be getting a good light, uh, provided you go through a, an authorized retailer. That would be my strong, strong suggestion. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me again on another episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, and subscribe. Uh, and until next time, guys, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.